Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we are back again talking about some more Ripper vs. Tractors. But today, specifically, it would appear that legendary comic book writer Mark Millar has sparked some controversy because apparently liking Isom is somehow akin to you being drunk or you having a, a, a mental illness or sickness going on with you because apparently legendary comic book writers can't praise Isom either because oh you're a traitor oh you're a bad person because you liked Eric July's comic book it's so funny and so much salt is flowing from the usual suspects we got actual fandom we got Bob we got Buster Baxter we got James Castle we got Stu from, Com from Critical Blast, who is, of course, ban evading because he's a loser. And we've got so many other people to talk about today. But first, we're going to start off the video by saying, check out the Ripperverse store and get in your orders for Ripperverse comics, hoodies, short boxes, posters, comics, shirts, hats, etc., etc. As we wait for the launch on Monday for Alpha Core number one. Moving on over to Blade Devil 2, it's currently in demand with 144k with 1500 backers. Get your Blade Devil 2, add on Blade Devil 1, check out the amazing artwork here. You get to choose from three different covers, cover A, cover B, and co oh, cover A, cover B, and cover C. You'll see them down here, two supplemental stories, one and two, 69 pages of story. Here you got cover A, here you got cover B, here you got cover C. Your limited summer wraparound cover, which I'm pretty sure is probably still available. You get your waifu pillows if you like. You get your mouse pads. Here's your limited summer wraparound cover right here. You could probably do it as an add-on as well. You get a card per book that you back based on the cover. And you can get this card if you sign up for that pre-launch. There's your mouse pads. There's your waifu pillow. First of all, you have your safe for work version on one side. Not safe for work version on the other side for Rain, for Luna for Ashiara. You get this print and you get foil covers because the stretch goals have been met. You can also get Blade Devil 1 from this campaign here for $10. If you do not care too much about damage, you have options of cover A, cover B, and cover C right there. also like to be promoting Death, Death, Death from Joe, Joe Ball. Currently sitting at 87k. 1100 backers. A 300 page graphic novel that you can get for $18 if you want the manga edition, $30 if you want the line art edition, $45 if you want the colored edition. You can see here, you can see the amazing colors done by Joel Ball. This man draws, inks, and colors, and I, I'm assuming does the lettering for this. That part I'm not sure on, but definitely he draws, inks, and colors the books. 300 pages for $30 is an absolute steal for this amazing artwork and story got here but now we're going to move back to the ripper first goal post where you can see this post that was put up by mark millar yesterday which says eric july kindly sent me the first two issues of his isom series this week and i love them hard to believe this is the guy's first venture into comics really well put together i also love to see a guy doing his own thing well done to him at the time of the screenshot of course it was at almost 60k views you have people like Ian Romero saying, "Okay, my dude, I need you to blink twice if you're going if you're being held at pew pew point by rip reverse employees to say this." It's very, very copious and salty of you to say some nonsense like this. You're showing so many tears and so much salt, and just this one post is absolutely disgusting. That you really think that this person is being held. At a certain point to say this maybe they just maybe he just read the books and likes them it's so amazing to me to see that pe these weirdos just can't understand someone loves a book and gives their opinion on it and then you get targeted you get targeted for loving a book by a creator that you dislike that sounds like a personal problem to me move the f fuck on Comics Legend praises ISM detractor in disbelief. The amount of cope that is being shown here. Comics Legend Mark Millar praises ISM leading to haters suffering a meltdown. You got Adam Slater. We'll bring it up. You got Adam Slater saying praising a phobic grifter. Yeah, that's an unfollow from me. Good for you. You're a, you're a flaky customer. 
You're a flaky person. Why would anyone want you as a customer? You flaky as hell. You're joking, right? Really well put together. There's tons of errors, though he liked to send you copies without errors that went to the public. Pacing is horrible. No character development. Lack of world building. Tons of panels with no dialogue with nothing happening. That's all your opinion. No one cares. Nobody cares that you wish to have your opinion be the gospel opinion or the gospel fact of the world. No one cares. I guarantee you didn't even buy the book. You probably jumped in a boat and sailed the high seas looking for it and found it somewhere. Ain't no way you pretended to actually like this crap. Lol, you are drunk, Mark. Go home. Yeah, mister, I work for Critical Blast. Who's ban evading because you violated TOS? Okay. The once talented Mark Ballard now thinks, uh, thinks Isom is a good book. How far they fall. Yeah, random Harley Quinn account. Do we read the same thing? Isom reads like it was written by someone with third grade reading comprehension, but that would be insulting to third graders. Yeah. Coming from the camp of Buster Baxter, where he can't even read above a first grade level, who thinks that putting your, sho your hand on, on someone's shoulder of someone you know is a terrible thing. Has this account been hacked? There's a reason why Mark Waits comics said you are the villain and Grant Morrison is the hero. Mark Waits comics suck. For the most part, Mark's Wa Mark Waits comics are are hot garbage. But I'm just gonna show you right here. Let's scroll down here. here. Got Bruce Flash. Most of the usual suspects they can they cannot concede that people can enjoy something without their approval. Peak narcissism. Yeah, I had to add it in. This is me. You can't forget good old Buster Baxter saying, Lol, did you have a stroke? I said it's dog water. According to a, an idiot on the internet who can't read worth a shit. Okay. Got LG shout out. Looks like the usual suspects too. Has numer er numerous errors. Fails to actually show any. It must be a new printing of the book after you fixed them. Lol, can't make this up. I have a campaign copy. Show me these numerous errors. Wouldn't you like to know? Yep, their narratives are getting destroyed. And too many people are starting to see them as liars. The haters don't like that, but it's not our problem. Their scream should be bottle Monster Inc. style. Kapowra, rip a van. <laughs> the most hilarious are the ones calling Mark a shill and a sellout. I sense Mark Miller is going to be contracted in the future. Watch he gets recruited to the reverse. Oh, that would be great. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine him getting picked to like to write something like Norfica, that would be insane. If you enjoy something, the tractors say, you're drunk, go home, you've got dementia, and no longer w know what quality is. Oh, there he is in the chat. Quote, hater suffering mouth, says the president looked through dozens of comments, screenshot, compiled, and posted them all. Seems like someone just doesn't like criticism. No, seems like you don't like the fact that some writer you like, likes something you don't. Cope and seethe, homie. Also, when legends are not immune to poor taste. Also, even legends are not immune to poor taste or sellout. Have fun gathering screenshots all day. Oh, we will, and I will continue to monetize your stupidity. Of course. The salt absolutely delicious. You know you've achieved success when established talent praises your work while the random rabble complains about it. Facts. Here he is, James Castle. Millar has admitted that his ability to sell comics is faltering, so he's trying to drum up interest. Sad. It's sad that you're still here being a hater. Even after as many times as you've been caught saying that you quote unquote bought 10 Iceland books that you still haven't presented yet. We got Professor 18. Just with his existing books, he can live off royalties until the end of time and his kids as well. Add to this every show Netflix will produce off of his books, allowing him to cash in, and every Hollywood adaptation. You make pathetic losers look bad by being this jealous. When the coping is just right. Exactly. Exactly. Probably gonna read through some more comments on this one. It completely shattered their online identity. Crazy to see. One of the bros in Disney bot farm working hard these days. <laughs> they get so emotional over the smallest things, they all need therapists. I'm guessing most of them haven't even read it. Melty. Imagine having a meltdown on someone like for liking a comic book that they don't. What weirdos. They're effing tight. I wonder what Cyberfog thinks of this thread. Who cares? No one really cares. Did this F just try to use a Mark Wade comic as a good example? A bunch of NPCs are upset at one of the Living Legends classic. Maybe they will realize how wrong they are and stop out of their collective delusion. <laughs> Poor kids have had their little hate delusions shattered. Yep. 
I remember seeing these stupid posts by Stupendous99 a few times. Sounds like a retard to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the salt will f continue to flow. So great. Absolutely great. Here we go. We got actual fandom. Bob, really? Really? Did you actually read the thing? Did you read the thing without pirating it, though? I don't think you read it either. He absolutely didn't read them. I mean, you pirated it, and you linked to a site. You linked to a site that had the full book. So, actual fan organized kids doubt Mark Millar read Isom. OC feels betrayed and is about to cry. <laughs> he probably will. He probably will cry. <laughs> we got Mikey Malone. Bit long time detractor. They are terribly written. You are a sellout if you can't even give him genuine criticism. Scared of the rumored Air July blacklist? Coward. What rumored Air July blacklist? The one that Nick Ricada made up? The one that one? You mean that one that he, that Nick Ricada made up? Made up? Nuclear level cope. Haters experience a nightmare. Their favorite comic collection is talking positively about Air July success. It's too much for them. Top tier entertainment. Watching them lose their mind. The misfire synapses of the of a mad rapidly declining into dementia. Sad, but I still won't ever buy your crap ever again. You probably never bought it in the first place. Holy cow, you support CG? You know they hate women, right? Totally shocked by this. Yeah, because Irene didn't do a cov a poster for Isom. Irene isn't doing her own books called Fiendish. She put out Fiendish 1 and 2 and currently has a campaign for Fiendish 2.5 or over on Indiegogo. Sure. Meanwhile, Ethan hangs around her all the time. But we're not going to talk about that. We got Knife School saying, You, Mr. Millar, are a public liar. You know that comic is total garbage. Really sad this season. Spinelessly bowed to a gang of zero-talent YouTubers. Also a sad sight for Scott. Oh, and we got, huh, we got our famous frog boy over here with his conspiracy theories. Detractor feels like Mark Millar never got any copies of Isom and only praised it as a favorite for his friend Chuck Dixon, writer of Alpha Core Number One. The next book, haters are coming up with stupid conspiracy theories. Oh, let's listen to Frog Boy. Let's let's make sure our audio is on this time. Let's listen to good old Frog Boy talk about the conspiracy theories of why Mark Millar likes Isom. They can do that. He's seen a lot of success, and he recently got his copies of Isom One and uh, Isom Two, and he took. Well, well, what's funny is Eric July literally said that he was not sending out review copies to anybody. Remember, if you want to review the book, you had to get it. So, again, it's really weird that you sent. Why would you send Mike, Mark Miller copies of Ice of 1 and 2? Right? I almost feel like he didn't get any copies. <laughs> Nobody cares how you feel. Cope and seethe is the only feelings are the only feelings you're going to have <laughs> when Alpha Core number one does as well. No one cares. He even said, I got it this week, right? I got my copies this week. Eric never said, hey, I sent Mark some, some uh, copies. I sent some copies out to some famous people or some, some big time people, right? This is like the... It's really none of your business, frog boy. It ain't none of your business who he gives copies to. When Eric said he wasn't giving out free copies, he was talking about Access Media, you know, comic book review sites. That's who he was talking about. Other than that, he can give copies to whoever the hell he wants. So clearly you haven't been listening to what Eric has actually said. And this is why nobody takes you serious, because you, you are just as bad as all the other detractors who just make shit up as you go. Like the first we've heard of these copies going out to people. And apparently it's yeah. only gone out. That's fine. <laughs> why is it any of your business? Oh, yeah, I know why. It's because you have to make videos on this to make money. Right? You have to do this. That's a mark. And again, why? Why would it, like, he's never mentioned Mark Miller before, right? Like, if he said, it's like, oh, man, Mark's been my hero, right? And then, like, he's like, oh, then I sent him copies. That would make sense, right? Right. But he's never mentioned him. As far as I know, he's never mentioned Mark Miller. I mean, as far as I can tell, you haven't done any research into what Eric July has actually said about giving out review copies. So, of course, you'd probably never hear that he's actually mentioned Mark Millar before. Of course, you're going to say that. You, you can't even get simple things like knowing what he said about review copies correct. You think you're going to get this part correct? 
again, it makes no sense that he would send them out. This almost feels like a PR stunt. <laughs> and from my dude, you sound like you're about to cry because you didn't get free copies of Isom because you had to pay for copies of Isom. This sounds like this sounds like you're whining right now. My understanding, Mark Miller is friends with Chuck Dixon, who is writing Alpha Core. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay, and that's the next book coming out. Oh man, nah, I'm, that's a that's gotta be a conspiracy. I'm I'm crazy, crazy guys. You are crazy because you're absolutely out of your damn mind. Ooh, oh my God, Mark Millar is friends with Chuck Dixon. Such a terrible thing. You sound like you're about to cry. Like, dude, stop. Just just stop. You absolutely just sound like you're going to cry. Seriously. Let's move over to, to Buster Baxter here, who, you know, he's taking shots at multiple YouTubers. He's taking shots at Shad because he's talking about his AI art. And, of course, Shad's going back and forth with George Prime. I like both of those guys. They're both cool people. I like them. Shad's great on FNT. George has some amazing artwork that he's doing for Razor Fist. And it's like, and there's just more going on here. Artist is not a self applied term, you worthless crap stain. Well, I guess writer is not a, <laughs> I guess writer is not a self applied term either, because clearly so then you wouldn't be a writer. You wouldn't be considered a writer either. Of course, we got your boy Riley always putting it out there, what he's going to do, because for some reason he always likes to put out what he's going to do that's essentially wrong. Would you be purchasing a $9.99 a month Gripper First membership so you could purchase Alpha Core 30 minutes early? I mean, if you really want it early, then yeah. People are willing to pay it. They will pay it. Why are you so concerned with what people spend their money on? It goes back to that same argument of why do you care what people spend their money on? And of course... This guy's going to put it out there. I'll pay $200 to the first person who scans AlphaCore and DMs it to me for my review purposes. And a reminder, Clipperverse show launches on November 8th because you're trying so hard to be somebody you're not. You are essentially trying to be the tokenized version of Young Ripa. And it's so weird how obsessed you are with trying to be someone you're not. So, Eric goes to the gym. You're fat as hell. Eric's black. You're white. He has Rip Reverse. You trying to make Clip Reverse. His name is Young Ripper. You're you're Young Clipper. It's so weird. This is such a weird thing. And then on top of that, you're trying to essentially tell people that you want a you want someone to go out into dark waters and find this copy for you, right? Just just put it all out there like like idiots do. They always tell on themselves. You always tell on yourself. I don't understand. And then you got this weird crap trying to make this parody of, of Eric's video, right? They're using AI essentially to try to make fun of Eric. Meanwhile, he don't really care what you're doing. Y'all are spending so much of your effort and time trying to make fun of somebody else because you're salty that he's successful and you're not. It's absolutely sad. Of course, he's going to be doing the same troll question. What was your favorite part? Doesn't have to answer your question. You can stay salty. You can stay in your lane, which is what you should be doing. Of course, we had heel versus babyface. He says things like, see you next Tuesday is like you being so effing mad. Someone did their own thing and was massively successful. While you, never, you will never amount to anything on this planet and will be an effing loser for the rest of your miserable life. This frosty person. Right, I don't remember that part. I some too. Of course you don't. You don't remember any. You wouldn't remember any parts in I some too because you didn't read it. Got Alex from the Riververse. Who do you trust? An all-time great of the industry, or a few crusty sads online with nothing to their name. Much love to Mark Millar. Lol, bro. You don't have to quote trust anybody. Just read the comic. It sucks. Again, no one gives a shit about your opinion. No one gives a crap about your opinion. Buster Baxter, bad faith actor. Right? This is what you know. Az had to say after that one comment. He's saying, quote, What was your favorite part of Isom Sides? So Isom 2 is a line set by Concerned Trolls. See you next Tuesday. I have no interest in what ans your answer actually is. While also thinking they are owed an answer in the first place. Because they're not. If you reply, loved it. 
then you are sure or lying. If you reply, it was okay, then you didn't really like it, but you are trying to diminish the impact. If you reply, hated it, then emerged, even Eric's friends don't like it. The more you concern troll, the more everyone sees how bitter, resentful, and, je and jealous you are of a man that put his money where his mouth is and won. It eats people alive seeing someone succeed so well that not just in general, but becoming the legitimate biggest story in the whole comic book industry. I would say the indie comic book space. If the concern troll see you next Tuesday has put as much effort into trying to succeed themselves instead of making tons of sock accounts, you might actually do something. Alpha Core becomes available Monday. I have no doubt in my mind it's going to be a colossal success. So get creating more sock accounts, bitches, because your tears of soy are going to flow like a river that's burst that spurts its banks. Very well said by the silverback himself. By as the silverback. Right? And of course, he's still trying to troll because of the pronoun thing, because he's still mad about this. Saying, can someone please draw this guy's face on the bottom of their big tone post a video if it go on pronouns? Of course, people did, because they're weird. Because again, cult like, cult like mentality. Still replying to ads like he cares. He's still more successful than you'll ever be, Dick Masterson. I don't know why you continue to quote tweet people that don't give a crap about you, besides calling you fake and phony. You know, quote tweeting Shad still, more videos, still quote tweeting Ethan. And it just goes on and on, dude. We're moving over to my Twitter, right? Where after all that aftermath, of course, I had the, the drunken fats just had to, you know, try to be fat, lazy, and annoying, trying to essentially take me down again. Right, so where they put this, of course, I have the block because they're useless idiots and they're, I don't know, irrelevant. And like I said, after they tried to false flag me, is what really made me block them when they tried to false flag my Twitch account last time. But of course, they're still talking behind blocks, right? Sturgis logic, still don't know who that is, and honestly. When I found out what it meant, it meant you think I look like a biker, which is actually a compliment. Bikers are usually around a lot of hot women, so I don't see how that's an insult. DP is irrelevant, but it's also this large platform that is used to bully him. So again, you put it out there and admit that you're using your quote-unquote large platform. 100K is not really a large platform. 108K is not really a large platform. The fact that you have people screenshotting tweets of mine and sending it back to you is really weird, by the way. Make up your mind, you clown. You're the biggest one here. Also, we're in our early 40s. That doesn't make it any better. I know your numbers are difficult. According to this photo, both you and Eric are fatter than me. You're five foot three. So first, I was five foot eight. Then I'm five foot three. Make up your mind. I could have sworn that you said that Eric was five foot eight, which Eric is five foot eleven. So it might be a little difficult for you to figure out numbers. But if Eric is five foot eleven, how could I be five foot three? That's kind of stupid of you to say. But of course, this was in response to me saying, learn what a cult is. You are literally in one, you weirdo. This was me talking to Dot Excutables. You jumped on a hate train against a person you dislike. Drunken peasants are fat in their late 40s. I don't really care what age they are. Irrelevant losers who get zero kitty and sit on their platform of 100K plus telling people to harass me while I'm live. But somehow I'm going to call mental retardation at its best. Because this is them talking behind a block. Because they still have feel the need to have to talk about me, right? Which I posted. I you know I, I tagged YouTube and Twitch and all this stuff because you're breaking TOS, and I'm supposed to just sit here and let you break TOS and try to ruin my take down my revenue streams because you're salty that I called you fat and said you were obsessed with a cross above Isom's junk. Apparently, I'm supposed to just sit back and let you do that. No, kid gloves have been off since the first time you false flagged me. And the kid gloves are going to remain off when I deal with weirdos like you. Right. And I also said this. I said, drunken peasants logic. I have 25k followers on Twitter. Posts about live stream. Immediately five likes. Irrelevant YouTubers. Because you post a live stream link on YouTube. You get five likes while having 25k followers. I can make a post talking negatively about you def in defense of myself. And I get more likes. And I get more views than you. So who's really irrelevant? You are. But I'm going to continue to monetize you. Because that's what I do. 
Of course, you have people coming in saying that's just your opinion. You're a clown. You you look like you look like tokenized Steve Urkel. Just saying. This person with the weirdo account saying I support harassment of Rachel Zegler. I actually reposted it because I was going to talk about this in a video. I never did, but I also posted a a retweet of uh, Toxic Man Baby, who, who's the artist of Blade Devil 2, talking about you know how he's going to show himself if, if he gets to a certain amount. I said, let's make it happen. And I said, that's not harassment. You're an idiot. Your whole profile is based on the harassment of another man. You self-own yourself every single day. Projection much, soy boy? I reposted what Mark Millar said. Right? The same guy, oh, ever shall I do what was me? I said, you could continue to whine and cry about another man's success. I'll be busy monetizing your stupidity. Which he responds with, you have no success. You haven't even made a book. I said, you don't got a book made yet. You don't have one either. Successful YouTube, successful life. Cry about me more. If your profile picture is actually really you, dude, looking like a tokenized Steve Urkel. Hater Logic 101. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dude's getting no likes on any posts. Uh, Professor Hayden, I responded to him. This was the thing that the Silverback Hill versus Babyface said. I said, perfect Hater Logic coming from Silverback himself. Hail as. This one's person says, I don't simp for another man and my life is peachy. Ooh, an Urkel insult. How original. Coming from a guy who's using the same insult as somebody else. Now, I'll admit that I use an insult for somebody else, but sometimes I do say his name. I do say Dick Masters in the videos. I said to this person, I said, simping would require me to give money without a person earning it. Your life clearly ain't peachy when Twitter's clearly your life. Air July earned my dollars by promising and delivering on a product that I enjoy. I continue to say it, but it's funny how making negative content is okay to make on a creator because it gets the clicks. Making positive content in defense of someone being lied about on a daily, daily basis devolves into some gay fantasy projected on me. Like I said, I can't wait until you weirdos cope and see when Alpha for Core number one becomes a multi-million dollar campaign. Which, once again, I get likes. Of course, you have this person. I love seeing Sturgis cry and tag people like a Karen SJW. Yeah, because like I said, I'm supposed to sit there and let somebody false flag my mod, false flag me, and I'm somehow supposed to let you sit there and break TOS and be doing crap like that. I'm supposed to sit there and just take it. To which I said, I didn't tag your goofy ass, though. You slid your way over here. I'm playing by the same rules you weirdos play. If drunken peasants weren't breaking TOS, I wouldn't have to do it. I'm supposed to allow some fat MFers on the internet to disrupt my revenue streams. Click kid gloves. Kid gloves here have been off for, have been off for a while now. Be gone, Looney Tunes avatar profile picture. By the way, nice band evading. Sure would be a shame if, if X found out. Because you are band evading. I, like I do not care. When it comes to these detractors and weirdos, I do not care anymore at all. This person, nice. I said, nice projection. You described your entire life story in one meme. Have a good day, weirdo. Here's the gift that keeps on giving. You look like this compared to me. Your point? I'm not the one who showed Discord DMs. They are, actually. I appreciate your concern, but I'm more successful than you or your fat cult leaders will ever be. Lose some weight and stop eating so much soy. I saw your gross stuff in your live streams. You know the live streams I get paid for? I get subs and bits and stuff on Twitch. Seems to me like you, pro you probably have a picture of Air July you jerk off to every night while you cry yourself to sleep wishing you could get a crumb of success in life. Apparently, I'm proof that women shouldn't smoke during pregnancy. Literally never happened. Apparently, I, I, I do this to Jeremy because, again, I always say, you're projecting as always. You seem to always have men's junk on your brain. I promoted Joe Ball. And this is when I said... Duncan Fast lose once again. I remain undefeated as Twitch unbanned my mob because y'all are complete losers. Let the salt flow. You got Ripoff verse saying spot on. The reason so many people hate Eric July and hate the book isn't for fun. People can care about quality in the comic has the worst art and the worst writing. And then have Eric with low IQ and zero creative ability grandstand to the world he's special. Millar is a sellout. I said, so the word spot on Equals opinion is a fact. This guy's an utter retard and rides a short bus. Yeah. You're, again, your whole existence is based on Eric July. That's where I said to this Buster Baxter sounds like an opinion. And I retweeted a bunch of stuff, including this, where Eric says, Haha, that's why the list thing never made any sense. If I had one, what would I even do with it? I'm not a member of the mainstream, and I only control my own businesses. I'm not like Yagami. They can't decide whether I'm irrelevant or I'm calling the shots like Fontaine, though. 
uh like the amount of salt is just too unreal it's too unreal apparently i'm a loser yet i'm that your name is eric july's arm here and it's and i tell him says the guy who's band evading and has a profile dedicated to a man pretty gay if you ask me well all in all at the end of the day this is what we're dealing with you can't even be a, a comic pro in the mainstream to praise something that eric july created or you're a traitor, or you're drunk, or you have dementia, or some kind of sickness, because apparently you no one can like Eric July's comic. You're not made to believe to like Eric July's comic, and apparently you're a fool if you do. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really do appreciate all the new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, and returning viewers. If you do like this video, hit that like button. Comment below what you feel about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all that we get notifications anytime I post a new video or live stream. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.